Nearly everything. First of all, let's speak about Prosecco. Prosecco is coming from the northeast of Italy. It is not Italy's sparkling wine. It has to come from a specific area in Veneto or Frulli Venezia, Giulia. It is also coming from the Glera grape varietal, at least 85% will have to. And it's made in a method called the Charmat method generally. That said, it's not a requirement. It can also be made in the method Champenoise or it can be made a col fondo, as we say in Italy, which is a spontaneous re-fermentation in the bottle. But the important thing is that it is uh, a wine, to, uh, you can make this wine very quickly, a matter of a few months, and it's a wine that's meant to be drank immediately. Yes, some can last a couple of, of years, but generally speaking, you're going to want to drink them right away. When we are speaking of Champagne, we are speaking of a wine from France, but more specifically, we are speaking of a wine that comes directly from Champagne, which is a designated area in the north uh, of, of France. This is a wine that is made in a completely different style. It's called the Method Champenoise, where the secondary fermentation is going to happen directly in the bottle, instead of these pressurized steel tanks that often Prosecco is made of. It's a wine that also takes a minimum of 16 months in Champagne to make or speaking of in 36 months for a wine that's coming uh, as a Reserva wine for Champagne. And we actually have, what's interesting in, in Italy, is a wine called Francia Corta. This is coming from just east of Milan, and it's a region that's dedicated to making uh, wines very similar to Champagne. So we're speaking of the method Champenoise and similar grapes, Pinot Nero, Pinot Bianco, uh, and such that you make the wines from. Uh, Champagne, of course, can even last sometimes decades uh, when they are good years and good producers. Anyways, uh, Prosecco can be uh, fun, it's sweeter of course, it's lighter, it's easier, it's more approachable for many people, especially for younger palates, whereas Champagne maybe does require a slightly more um, appreciation of wine because it often is going to be a bit more dry. But it is a wine that is also meant for dinners, whereas Prosecco is going to be a wine that you're going to use more for an aperitivo, or as we would use uh, for a spritz in Italy.